Hi friends, welcome to the new course that is TypeScript. So what is this TypeScript? So you have seen this TypeScript few times in the internet or somewhere you will be you will be able to see this TypeScript. So today we will see what about the what is this TypeScript. So TypeScript is nothing but what we can say is it is the superset of the JavaScript. What is this superset? Superset is nothing but what we can say it is a step a higher than the JavaScript. So it has some features and uh, features and advantages of the uh, for the TypeScript that the JavaScript doesn't has. Okay, the JavaScript features and uh, features uh, which JavaScript doesn't have, the TypeScript has this one. And what we can say about this TypeScript is TypeScript was developed by the Microsoft community in the year 2012. Okay, and TypeScript is not a programming language. It is not a programming language. Programming language means what we can say is something like java c c so it's not like the new programming language it is the language that was developed on the base of the javascript ultimately the typescript if you write the typescript code it will be compiled using the typescript compiler and it will be converted into the javascript language okay so it doesn't have its own programming language it will compile and it will convert it into the javascript language okay so that means if you write any typescript code ultimately it will be converted into the javascript language only why it will convert into the javascript language is typescript the browsers and all those things what we have right currently in the market are browsers the browser doesn't understand the typescript language you need to remember this thing typescript doesn't uh, the browser all the browsers doesn't understand the typescript language the only language which which the browsers can understand is only javascript so ultimately whatever the code you need to you will be writing that will be that should be compiled into a javascript only okay so that is the main reason so if you write the code in the typescript or everything it should be compiled by the typescript compiler and it will be converted into the javascript code which the browser can easily be understood so there is no need for you to consider about the javascript code and all those things so you need you will be writing you will be concentrating only in the typescript only and you do, that will be converted in the type javascript code which you can ignore that one okay this is the main thing the typescript so what is the use of this typescript so if if it is ultimately converting into the javascript means so then what is the use of this learning of the javascript uh, typescript typescript is mainly you uh, mainly useful for the developers so who are in the programming language and all the things typescript will be they will be finding it very useful and also very easy to learn why means typescript offers some features something like typing strongly typing language and all those things right so for example if you see here i have a js bin code you see here this is the javascript code okay i have a function which is nothing but what we can say add which will add two numbers and it will give you the sum of the number and here i am sending i am calling this add method by sending two arguments as string string arguments i am sending and here if i check the output what could be the output here here i am getting 12 instead of getting 3 i am getting 12 this one in javascript this correct only okay there is no errors and all those things but logically thinking the the responsibility of this add method is to do the mathematical calculation between the two uh, between the two arguments and it has to re return the result as a three or something like that but here it is doing the concatenating of the two arguments so runtime it is wrong so typescript avoids this type of behavior okay by using the typescript you can avoid this type of this type of problems so that the code when you are writing it will be error free and also it will be easy to develop and you will be able to find the code very easily and you will be able to find the code or understand the code or what is this method and what are the code what is the arguments i need to send in javascript you will be not having like this but in the typescript you will be having the name itself will be type so the type the arguments types so that means it accepts only the integer types or floating types so numbers it will accept so you can uh, restrict the add method to accept only the numbers and all those things so that any any guy or any anything any anybody using that method they will be compulsory they will be sending the numbers only so that you will be having error free code and also the runtime errors you will be you can minimize the runtime errors by using this typescript okay so mostly uh, we can say that the typescript in in these days is becoming very popular why because means the most popular uh, framework angular is using is developed is, de is using the typescript language only okay so that is the reason typescript has become these days very very popular 
okay so it is very important to know the typescript uh, before continuing it to the angular framework so that is the reason i am covering the typescript language so that when we are uh, when we are doing the angular course and all those things so we will find it very easy to understand the angular angular framework so that is the reason i am before continuing into the angular i am telling you the typescript so this is all about the typescript so so one thing you need to remember is typescript ultimately it will be converted into the javascript so that means in the typescript language in the typescript code itself you can write the javascript code also there is no problem there is no there is no restriction of using only typescript code. you can write the javascript code also and extra features you will be having some advantages and features in the javascript in the typescript which da javascript doesn't has this one so you can write the ES6, es6 syntax and everything everything will be applicable in the everything will be useful in the typescript so there is no problem you need to learn new thing and all those things there is no need to hesitate you will be learning additionally new new features and all those things which the, the javascript doesn't has so this is all about the typescript so let's continue and let's dive in deeper into the typescript and we will learn all the concepts what are present in the typescript so that it will be very useful for us if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you.